Welcome to Smog's Cooking Show with your host, Aiden Smog. Hello! My name is Smog. Let me get down for you. Welcome to my cooking show. Now, these are my ingredients for today. We're going to be making a pizza. All right, for our first step in making the pizza. Open it. Yes. We're going to be adding some flour and making some delicious dough. Smog? Yeah. The bowl has holes in it. I almost forgot. I need to wash my hands. Now. As I've said many times before, washing your hands is one of the best ways to not get a disease. Now, as I'm washing my hands and drying them, I want you to remember to do the exact same thing when you're cooking my delicious recipes at home. Get the trash can. All right, now as we continue to pour in, I almost forgot. Let's wash our hands again. Now, as I was saying in many other of my, uh, my little cooking shows, it is great to wash your hands. It is the best way to prevent some sort of disease from occurring. Where's the trash can? Delicious. Now, time to prepare our dough. Now, as I continue to add some flour here... Smog. Different bowl. What? Oh. This, folks, is what you call a strainer. Time to get a better bowl. <laughs> Let's move this chair out of the way for a second as I uh, sift <laughs> my flour back into this bowl. This is fun. Reminds me of the times when I was on the beach as a little boy. Time to add some more flour. Now. The next step in creating our delicious dough is to add some water to get that really doughy consistency we all strive for. Just add a bit of water here. Look at that. I can already see the dough. Now time to mix. Before we do that, I'm going to remove any electrical devices that may be short-circuited when I'm mixing my dough. Now as I uh, mix this, I want to remind you all at home that um, I don't do any measurements here at my cooking show. Instead, all I do is cook. It's a great philosophy, I've got to say. My great-grandfather, Jidaw, told me that. I'm gonna wash my hands. A slam dunk. And now, we've got this dough here. Let's make sure it's doughy enough for our purposes. I'm tasting a bit too much water. Let's add some more flour. Don't want too much, otherwise it'll be too dry. I'm almost done making this uh, dough here. It's a really nice consistency. You know what? Let's make sure it's a nice consistency. Pretty good. Now to add a glob of butter to our delicious dough mixture. Ah, that looks pretty nice, doesn't it? to that later, in my own time. There we go. <laughs> Put the yolk in the other shell and drink all the... <laughs> Alright, my annual trick shot. Folks, I don't often make mistakes here in my cooking show, but I just did make one. Now, I don't usually make mistakes here in my cooking show, but I just made one. There's not supposed to be a yolk in here? But, don't fret, I have a delicious tactic that will both cleanse my hunger and <laughs> will both cleanse my hunger and get this disgusting yolk out of my dough. <laughs> All done. Delicious. Alright, and as you can see, my dough is complete. One more thing. 
I gotta wash my hands. Delicious. Alright. Now I've got this bill complete. I almost forgot one thing. The raisins! Now as I open this bag of raisins, I want to make sure that all of you know this is completely 100% edible. You can eat this anytime, anywhere. Why not? You can also make it anytime, anywhere. Free of charge. I mean, you need all the ingredients, but you know. It's free of charge. One second, please. <laughs> I think I need some help here. <laughs> Off the floor. Into the stew. This is going to be a fantastic pizza. I can already feel it under my fingernails. Alrighty. We've got our dough complete. Now the next step. It's coming to you shortly. Right after I wash my hands. Now that we've got our beautiful dough ready, as you can see, we're going to uh, pour it onto this tray right here. As I pour it out, I'm going to tell you guys another little story that happened to me not too long ago. You see, I was, uh, I was working at a hair salon, and this one gentleman came up to me and said, Wow, Smog, you really have a talent, don't you? And I was like, yes I do, sir. Yes I do. And he was like, Great. Well, I'm offering you a job at our finest restaurant in town. And I thought about it for at least a few milliseconds before I said, No, I'm good. He was like, But why? You have such a great talent for cooking. And I was like, Well, if I have to break it to you, gentlemen, I already have my cooking show. All done and or dusted. That's our remaining sauce that I will feed to the dogs. <laughs> now we have our dough shaped in a most uh, delightful manner. We are going to go preheat the oven to 350 or something. Sure. Now, as that's all cooking up, let us begin with our sauce. Now, our sauce consists of a few simple ingredients. Del Monte. Del Monte. Quality, no sugar added red grapefruit. Grapefruit. Nutella. <laughs> paprika. Very Italian. Half and half. Not as Italian. And finally, here's just a sample, but 47 dried, shriveled up tomatoes. There we are, all of our ingredients. Time to get a bowl. Now, my favorite color is purple. I don't know why, but my favorite color is purple. That's why I chose this bowl for today. Because I had a feeling that this sauce would be as great as the color purple. And some half and half. Maybe some paprika? What better red grapefruit? And just a, a citrusy smell. I can smell it from here. Now we have our uh, sauce mixture. I am finally <laughs> going to add the ingredient that tops it all off. Some Nutella. <laughs> <laughs> this is completely 100% edible. No safety code violations here. Mr. Secret Agent Man. I think I'm gonna get a uh, little utensil to help me uh, scrape all this out. I think there's more sauce than there is <laughs> pizza. One. Right after I finish scraping this Nutella off this uh, the spoon here, I'm going to get back to mixing. Kerplunk! See you then. Alright everyone, I have mixed our delicious sauce. And now, I feel like we need a bit more area, surface area, to uh, cover our delicious pizza with sauce. So I'm just gonna, you know, go all hydraulic press action here. Okay, look at that. That looks almost good enough to eat. Time to add our sauce. Oh god. Ugh. Add the, uh, the tomatoes and the uh, paprika infused Nutella. Delicious, isn't it? I can almost taste it. In fact, I'm just kidding. The big dump, if you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. There we go. There we are, all done with our sauce. All right, time to add our toppings here. I'm running a little short on time, so I'm gonna speak a bit faster now. All right, so just uh, sprinkle it on there. A bit more. Perfect. I mean, maybe sponsors. Okay, all right, there we are, topping. 
delicious, isn't it? And now we have our toppings, some cheese, some life cereal, and finally, our sausage. Otherwise known as a four inch wiener. I'll see you in 20, Mr. Pizza. Nice. All right, after a, um, a very long oven fiasco, we are going to uh, cut into this pizza. There we are, straight down the middle. Now we've got a, these two slices here. I am going to salt my slice. Perhaps add some uh, black pepper as well. You never know, it might uh, taste good. All right, so um, I kind of forgot the baking powder in the, uh, the dough itself, so I'm just gonna sprinkle some on right now. There we go. Just like squirted something. There we are. Now we've got it into a few uh, relatively bite-sized pieces here. There we go. Chow down. Hi. How is it? Now that was, as I expected, delicious. In fact, I'm going to have another piece. Piece I should take? I think so. Good. I was just, I was going to do the same thing. Delicious. Ugh. And slightly, can I say that? Slightly nutritious. Here we go. Wow. I would like to welcome my cousin Helen to join us today for our um, for our guest. Now tell me, Helen, what are your first impressions of my pizza? It's great. It looks it actually it looks really good. Thank you so much. So yes. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to have you take a bite of one of these pizzas. Um, just take whatever you want. Hot. Ah, hot? Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. But um, you can finish it later. Here you go. Uh, uh, thank you. Alrighty, that was our guest for today. It was a bit hot, I understand. However, it's not the it's not the taste that matters about my uh, my my uh, my cooks. It's that um, I can trust each one to be delicious, more delicious than the last. Thank you very much for having me today, cameraman. I will see you next time. Of course.